Okay, so here we have a Dell 5490, and uh, I was working on it with the client and found uh, that the front of the unit had blistered out, so it was like that. And uh, I thought, hmm, so she's dropped it and damaged it. And then I took a look and realized, no, nope, there's no scrapes or marks on this at all. It's in excellent condition. So that's not the problem. So uh, what I did is I thought, well, maybe it's the battery. And sure enough, I took the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws out. This one in particular uh, was interesting. As soon as I got that one loose, it popped up. And then, yeah, the battery is what we like to call seriously swollen. So what I've done is I've called Dell and they're sending me a replacement. They'll, if you've got pro support, the three year, uh, they'll ship you a replacement for up to uh, three years. This thing has about uh, two and three quarter years, so it's still valid. So Dell's shipping me a replacement, but I can't give it to the user like this. This is just downright dangerous. So I popped out the screw here and here. Uh, by the way, made sure it's powered off first and uh, also pulled off some tape. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to replace this with uh, a unit that I've got that's a loaner. All right, so let's show you just how to pull this battery out. So again, take off any screws that are there. There should be one there, but there wasn't for some reason. Um, uh, so I popped this one out and flipped it over and pull this cable out. And then this, you think, well, I'm gonna have to pull on this tape, but you actually don't have to. You just grab it with your fingers and pull it straight out. Okay, and boom, there it is. And you can see how just incredibly swollen that is. Now the dangerous thing about lithium ion, in case you're not aware, is that it produces its own oxygen, which is why uh, it's so difficult to put out. So, and as you can see, this is a, well, maybe you can't, yeah, you can see in there. It's a four cell, one, two, three, four cell battery. This is a good quality battery as far as uh, size goes. Uh, but again, dangerous. So let's put that away. Let's grab the replacement unit, which is in this case a loaner, because I can't give that to the user for three or four days until Dell ships me the replacement. That's just not going to happen. And I'm just gonna pull the screws out of here. Now, while I was talking to Dell, they said, I offered to uh, return the, or sorry, I offered to uh, scrap the battery in a safe depot that we have inside our building for this kind of thing, and I know that because I've had this before. And uh, Dell declined. They said they, while they would appreciate it uh, that we do that, um, they are required, um, probably by their own internal code, but we didn't say which, to have the batteries returned. Um, so, okay, fair enough. Um, so let's just pop this out now. Now, with these, when they're not bloated, uh, there's sometimes getting the, trouble getting these out. So what you need to use is a, a credit card or something, and you work in a pry point. The pry point on this unit on the 5490 is right at the back here. There's a little notch right there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is pop this credit card in and try to pop it up. And if that doesn't work, what you can do is grab the screw and try to lift up. But of course, the credit card does work in this case. So let's just move along. And by the way, that's assuming you don't have proper pry tools like this, which I'm going to use for the sake of expediency here. Just to... You don't really need pry tools. You can just use old credit cards work fine. Guitar picks, lots of people like to use. You know, whatever's best for you. Whatever you've got. There we go. It's popped. Now I can just lift this out. All right. Now that is a non-swollen battery. Yeah, it's nice and flat. So let's pop this out. I'll take this screw out here over on the far side. Uh, I need to take the tape off here. And that's, there's a reason why this tape is here. You think, why, why, why would they use such crappy tape? Well, because when this gets put down, when the back gets put back on, that cable needs to be 100% flush. And if it's not, it's gonna get pinched. And the last thing you wanna have is a pinched uh, wire that's running off the battery. Very bad idea. So that's why this tape is actually important. So take the tape, put it down somewhere. Well, there's no screw on the back of this one either. So they only have one screw holding it in. Okay. And then you just lift it up. 
There we go. So I just put it underneath, lifted it up, fold it over, pull this out, and again, just pull it straight. Well, when I say pull straight out, it's easier to pull it on a bit of an angle first, but it just comes straight out is sort of the idea there. Okay, so take this battery, which is the good one, and put it in the functional laptop. There we go. So that goes like that. That goes like that. Pop this in exactly the way it was and you won't have any trouble. So that white line that's right there, that's on every Dell I've seen, at least recently, and it obviously tells the techs that are assembling these where to uh, bend it. So you can do, have the same information. There we go, pop that in, squeeze it in, pop that down. And again, make sure that that cable goes underneath Okay, I've put this in backwards. You put the front in first, not the back, and, I'm, and I know that, I just screwed it up. See, there's these little tabs here, and so you put the tabs in, and then put it down, there you go. All right, now we just put the screw back in. There it is, it's in. Put the tape back on. There we go, that's good. And put backing back on. Um, so I just squish it around. Here, clip. There you go. Sweet. So something, if you don't do this a lot, that you should think about is when you are done screwing down the screws, <laughs> if that makes sense, uh, you want to go back and just do them again and just torque them a bit because uh, sometimes there's a clip that didn't quite clip and when you screw them down, they pop in. So I just go back around and just give them a little twist to make sure that they're good. I also always go from one side to the other, sort of work my way around, but you can do it pretty much in any way. You don't have to do a star pattern or anything like you do with a tire. And that's it. That is now perfect. That's just the way it's supposed to be. All right, if you like this video, please click like. If you found it useful, if you like this type of thing, please click subscribe. Really appreciate it. Super helps with Google algorithms. Leave your comments below. We will get back to you. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks.